Well, uh, I, 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 I mean, I, I, there's something, there's what I hope for, and there is something that's the case. I don't confuse both. But what I hope <laughs> is that one step would be to ask oneself, and I mean everyone, <coughs> to ask oneself, how do I know that the other person is wrong? Uh, I, I'm hoping that usually, uh, that's an interesting analogy you made about going to the desert to think about community. You wonder why. We come to the university to understand the larger world. Uh, and for some of us, secluded for four years in a very unworldly environment. But in any case, I, I, there must be uh, a parallel there. Because when you know or believe the other person is wrong, or when you know and believe you're right, I think by making that move to ask, how do I know? How do I come to these beliefs? It creates metaphorically a seclusion really where, where you have you sort of buy time to uh, and I've and, and as you see that the work I like to do through St. Augustine is really just think that idea of time and, and how thought and uh, wh wh when I, it's somehow essential to a claim to act or be even before we act rational and, and I think there are ways we could think about institutions of society or historical institutions in relation to uh, what are their dominant uh, existential modes? Do they encourage or discourage um, uh, uh, impetus to, 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 to act on beliefs or examined or unexamined beliefs? So, so you're saying? Uh, uh, are you saying that? Uh, let me see if I understand this. Uh, relativism claims claims the way you render it. Everything is has some truth. Has some truth in it. Okay. Uh, all right. I think you maybe I didn't hear you well the first time, or I heard you well the first time, but I think you modified it there when you added some. Has yeah. some truth in it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm just trying to get it. Get hear where you're coming from, right? right. All right, so, so if relative, uh, I'm trying to see which version of relativism you want to say everything is true or everything has some truth in it or everyone's point of view on a truth is valid. See, there are really many pockets here. So let me see which one we could choose or select from these three I just or more that are out there and see how it might work. So that, uh, did you say the Pope said, then therefore there must be s um, big wrong out there? Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really trying to think about a relativism that says that there are no wrong things. 
especially, I don't know about on the street, but since I mentioned the vernacular and I take that seriously, but I think in the books I've read, and meaning people who really sit around and think about how, how they can justify relativism, I don't know any, any of them who says that uh, there's no wrong. Uh, because what I find they say is either two things. Either uh, that you say this is wrong, but some guy here or, or some lady there looks at the same thing and say that's right. And then uh, who do you agree with? Or, or they might say that um, it depends on how you look at it. It depends on your perspective. So you get perspectival relativism. And I, I don't know what permutation of one or several of those together would amount to there's no wrong. Because we pretty much say that all the time. So the question is, uh, what relativism makes us think about is, for example, when you ask, it, have you ever been wrong when you say something is wrong? And you notice that most of the time we have. You know, you, you thought this way and then you don't think that there were times people thought there were witches everywhere uh, and then and, and the people are getting hung for it uh, and so on and so forth. There are people, times when people thought slavery was legal at least, even if not good, and then other times we say it's no longer legal. So at some point is when you notice all those things in the world but also in your own life, the things you knew as a kid, as an adolescent, and now, that's what makes people take relativism seriously. So um, I, I didn't hear what the Pope said. I don't know the context. If you, if you inform me better, I might be able to see if I can answer your question. Well, I, wasn't, like, I was actually basing it on her question. Yes. So um, I'm not too sure of the context either, but I knew about the whole controversy about his earlier comments about um, Islam. So that's mm. what I was mm. kind of trying to tie into. Yeah. I think <coughs> I think they go well, even if you if you watch the Pope's behavior, uh, because <coughs> yeah, uh, when he was in that German village where he taught for many years and was talking to academics and friends, they read some text together, or he made them read some text together, and he quoted somebody, and then when he was in Italy in his villa. Summer, he met with people and he said something that he says, this is how I meant what I said, you misinterpreted me. And I think now he's visiting Turkey, I think he's also saying things. When you put all those together, um, and I, I would be surprised if, if there are not um, interpretation going on, even if the, even if the <laughs> book hasn't changed his mind. So you could still come out and say, you know, I was wrong or you were wrong or but, uh, and, and, but without being a relativist, uh, uh, because relativism is really, <coughs> when it, on one level, it just works as a method. It's something to to do what what you just said, uh, what Sandra had uh, had pointed out. What do you do when? So relativist is just one guy who says, "Oh, sure, I can show you how to at least think about it." It's different from, say, subjectivism, which is to say, you know, the way I feel it, the way I see it, the way I think it, that's the truth. And it's absolutely so. That's, that's a different philosophical position, too. And, and I, I can see how any of these methods, correspondence theory, can, can provoke a conversation about what to do. Without, without just methodologically, without committing in a substantive way to, to the outcome of the process. Yeah, I want to try and um, <coughs> get your view a little bit more fully on um, how you're conceptualizing reason, and particularly read the sort of the, like social practice of reason given, which is I think for a lot of people seem to be concerned with. Uh, I take that partly because of the interest in pragmatism. 